It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and happens to be my father. Good morning, Dad. Big Bob Payne would shake in on this first weekend in August, which really means the end of summer is getting closer and closer. Well, Ryan, I'm ready for the dog days of summer. I love August, and uh, it's going to be the end of summer. Don't get too discouraged. <laughs> well, let's be real, Bob. When it's you, it is the end of summer because... <laughs> Once it gets cold here, you're in Florida. So, I mean, <laughs> you've got it wired. God gave us a brain for a reason. <laughs> well, I found some very disturbing news this week on the internet. Do tell. Almost half of Americans shop online while they're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I get a, an Amazon box outside my door every day, but your mother doesn't drink. So, I'm wondering if the other half is doing just as well. <laughs> Well, I'd be scared if mom started drinking because a new survey found that Americans who shop under the influence spend over $40 each time they actually shop. Wow. What's that add up to? A lot of money, Bob. It's <laughs> it depends like on how many times. a year, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, the overall report found that Americans spend $30 billion on spontaneous drunk purchases, and the most common being food which I guess sounds kind of obvious that maybe you get the munchies or when you've been drinking too much. Well, maybe it's not just alcohol then. It's influencing this buying habit. <laughs> maybe not, but I don't want to go, I don't want to dig too deep into this survey. But we do have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about questions you can't answer. Bob and I are going to discuss how to address some of the unknowable variables that affect your planning and investing. We're going to talk about hiring a financial advisor. Is it really worth paying someone for advice? Bob and I are going to break down the pros and cons of having a financial professional advise you versus doing it yourself, along with this week's financial propaganda. There's a lot of stuff out there in the news, media, that just you need to avoid at all costs. We're going to point it out for you. And we have our spotlight segment today where we have our financial advisor, Jen Angel on the show, and she's going to talk about a real retirement plan she worked on, talk about some of the mistakes, changes a certain couple had to make with their planning to help you become a better investor with your own planning. So let's hop to it. Let's talk about questions that you can't answer when it comes to retirement planning, but nonetheless, Bob, you need to address them. And the one I hear all the time is, so Bob, when's the next market crash going to happen? Well, that's a great question, Ryan. Now, of course, we did have a market crash in 2007 with the market down because of the f global financial crisis. And we had a market crash in 2000 because of the tech bubble seven years earlier. So that means every seven years we have a market crash. Is that right? Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you, if you, if you read financial propaganda, that's what they <laughs> tell you. Of course, if you go back before 2000, there wasn't a crash in sight. There was only a correction 15 years earlier. Yeah, exactly right. I think that's the thing that we do forget, to your point, financial propaganda, is we don't really have market corrections or market crashes that often. Even though we had two that were in recent history, that's very, very rare. And for the most part, Bob, it's very unexpected to have a market crash. You look at the level where the markets are trading today, and the lowest the markets have been in your lifetime is usually when you were born. Markets go higher, they pull back, it's like two steps forward, one step back, and crashes are rare. Meanwhile, everything you read in the news, the media is always saying, are you prepared for the next crash? Meanwhile, it's one of the most rare events that ever happens. But I will say this, Bob, look, we don't know when the next market crash is going to be. My crystal ball broke like you know, 17 years ago when I got in the business, but you always want to have a portfolio that's prepared for whatever can happen. Well, you know, I'm going back to Villanova to ask for that tuition back. They didn't give you a crystal ball for all that tuition I paid? <laughs> they should have. They should have. <laughs> But I think the important thing is with your portfolio and the question you want to ask yourself is, if we do have a market correction or the market goes down, is my portfolio protected? And you know that's something that has to be done ahead of time. So the market's done really well the last nine years, but at some point you will get a hiccup 
And how is your portfolio going to fare? Well, let's talk about portfolios, Roy. How many portfolios went down in 2008 that had half their money in bonds? All of them, I would think. Yeah, but how about, your- what happened to your bond portfolio? Did the bond portfolio crash? No, that's a good point. So if you had bonds in your portfolio, which we look at as protection in a portfolio, that really helped your portfolio weather the storm back in 2008. And moving forward, same thing. Having things like bonds in your portfolio can add a layer of protection to protect against market crashes. You know, since 2008, 100% of the bonds that we own for our clients have all come due and all been reinvested. And a lot of that money got reinvested in the stock market when it was on sale. Now, you're talking about drunk buying on Amazon. Do you go up there at night sober and look for deals or do you look for things that are marked up 200, 300% go, oh, what a deal. Let me buy 10 of them. Or do you wait for them to go down in price, right? Right. In most marketplaces, the rational decision is I like to buy things when they're on sale, when the price goes down. Hey, Ryan, I'm going to let you know a little dirty secret. Oh, wow, Bob. (laughs) (laughs) Sounds very provocative. (laughs) What's going on? Well, don't tell anybody, but wealth creation is not about the stock market going up or your investments going up in value on a daily or weekly or monthly basis. It's about owning the most amount of shares of that investment before it goes up. Now, yes. I'm going to ask you a question. What's the best time to buy more shares of your underlying investment? Well, as the old saying goes, you want to buy low, sell high. So you always want to buy when markets are down, which is very hard to do in practicality. And that's why you need a discipline and a strategy that forces you to do those things. So basically what you're saying is, let's not worry about things we can't predict. Let's not worry about things that can't be known. Let's not worry about the next market crash. Let's really have a strategy that allows us to take advantage of whatever the markets throw at us. Don't you agree? Yeah, exactly right. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a strategy that protects me against the downside. I don't know what my downside risk is. Here's your shot to find out. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. You just have to bring in your statements, make it easy on yourself. Just put them in a big folder. We'll go through everything, dissect it all for you, build you your own personalized portal, and do a full bird's eye view analysis of your whole financial picture. We're going to look at all the critical elements. We're going to look at things like diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio? If the market does crash or correct, what kind of protection do you have in place? What pitfalls do you have? Bob and I are going to point them out for you and show you how to bulletproof your portfolio. We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in investment portfolios. I know that's shocking. We're going to show you where all the hidden costs in your portfolio are in those expensive insurance products, annuities, brokerage products, mutual funds. We're going to show you how to reduce cost. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement, you're going to need to replace income. Bob and I are going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio to fill in your income gap so you can retire comfortably. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we've used for over 40 years to determine, are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? All you have to do is call or text 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you've saved over 200,000 for your retirement, our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation and there's no cost. Of course, there's no plan unless you text or call 844 752 6692. That's 844 752 6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Rye Payne. We're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Rye. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. 
If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word cash, that's C-A-S-H, cash, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word cash, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. We told you earlier that Ryan Payne is the president of Payne Capital Management. This means he's the one responsible for designing the firm's investment and financial planning strategies. He has almost two decades of experience helping clients innovate, evolve, and fine-tune their strategies. Ryan's a strong believer in goal-based financial planning and investing. To reach out to Ryan and his team, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Drinking your hand and your toes in the sand. Now that's a very cool way to work on your retirement planning. And that is just what you can do with Payne Capital Management, as they also have offices in North and South Florida. So stop in and see them when you're on vacation and tell them Ron sent you. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I, we like to keep it simple because we're simple men and we like to keep it simple for you. We want to give you common sense practical advice you can use with your own planning and investing. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know About Creating an Income. You cannot outlive a great baseline to get you started with the retirement planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. Get yourself started. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive, you can download it for free. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888. So Bob, in my experience, when it comes to managing your wealth, there are a lot of reasons why you may not be working with a financial professional. You know, Everything from, I just want to save the money to do it on my own. Maybe it's the challenge that I like managing my own money, or you just don't know who to trust, so you end up not working with anybody. Why don't we discuss some of the reasons why you might not be working with a financial advisor right now? You know, Ry, I think what it is, is you tend to be a procrastinator when it comes to financial planning, because it's not just about (laughs) investing, right? It's about estate planning. It's about tax planning. It's about knowing. And, you know, best example I can give you is just this past week, I met with a client who was a personal introduction from their neighbor. And at the end of the meeting, they both said, you know, the biggest mistake we made was not calling you four years ago when we were introduced to you. So procrastination is huge. Yeah. And I think because it just feels so overwhelming. I mean, you just listed things like estate planning, right? And you got your tax planning and all these things. It just sounds like, oh, I mean, I'm in the business and it sounds terrible to do all these things. (laughs) So I think the approach here is, and you know, the make it simple is you want to do things step by step. Don't overwhelm yourself. And that's the nice thing about the financial planning process, Bob. It really is a step by step thing. It's like, you know, step one is just getting everything together to be analyzed. Well, that's it, right? You have no idea where to start when it comes to retirement planning. It's like right now, if you're out in a field in Northern Jersey and you say, hey, Bob, I want to come to your office you know, give me directions. And I'll say, great, Rye, where are you? You'll say, I'm in the middle of a field in some, I think it's New Jersey. How can I give you directions? <laughs> right? So that's the big problem. People don't know where to start. And you start at the beginning. And the first thing you have to do is just make an appointment, sit down with someone who tells you what you need to know, you know, in terms of organization. Yeah, exactly right. And I think the other problem is though, you know, maybe it's not the fact that you're procrastinating. Maybe you're really on your finances. You love your finances. You love managing your money. So it's like relinquishing control would be a very sad day for you because you really like it. And I think that's kind of the wrong way to look at it, right? I mean, it's like we always say Tiger Woods has a coach. Wouldn't Mm -hmm. it be nice to have someone you can bounce ideas off of to make sure you're doing everything right? Well, that's why you have to work with a fiduciary, you know, someone who's truly a financial advisor who's not a financial dictator. You know, typically a financial dictator is somebody selling you a product. You know, hey, you don't worry your little head about it. I'll tell you what to own, why to own it. Um, (laughs) Right. You know, I mean, it should be a dialogue. It should be, you know, you should be able to know what you own and why you own it. And that's where a great financial advisor comes in. Like you said, right, it's like a good coach. It's like having a good trainer in the gym. 
you know, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again, all you do is end up grooving a bad strategy. Why not have a second opinion? Why not have someone give you some help? Yeah, because I think the other thing is, as you get into retirement, it gets more stressful and the stakes are a lot higher. You know, we talk about mm. this a lot. There's a difference in your life when you're in your wealth accumulation stage and you're in your wealth distribution stage. When you're working, you've got time on your side, you can afford to make mistakes. Time is really your ally. The problem is when you're getting to what we call that financial red zone, Bob, where it's like five years to retirement and now you're just in retirement, well, you can't afford to make the kind of mistakes you did before because you don't have time on your side anymore. You know, right? it's really about love. <laughs> it's really about love? Yeah, do you love Explain your family? That, do you love your spouse? <laughs> I mean, think about yes. it. You know, you're the one who runs the finances. What happens if you're no longer here on God's green earth? You're going to put your spouse into a very, very stressful situation. And we see this all the time. In fact, I just sat down with a widow this past week, and it's literally been seven, eight months, and we're still trying to put all the pieces of the puzzle together because really she was in the dark when it came to the finances. Her husband made all the decisions. You know, he was captain of his own ship, per se. Now, he yeah. was smart enough to say that if, God forbid, something happened to him because he was ill, talk to the pains about your finances. So at least she knew where to go. But I mean, other than that, the stress of having to put everything together, especially after you lost a loved one, is, is a terrible place to be. It really is. I mean, it, it, you're allowed to be smart about your investments. You're allowed to be smart about your financial situation, but you have to realize not everyone has the same passion and interest as you do. Uh, I have clients, Rye, who love to be, as you call it, the captain of their own ship. They have paying capital named in the will as the people who will manage the financial affairs once they're gone. So it's, it's not about your ego, it's about love. Do you love your family? Do you love your spouse? Let's not leave them in the dark. You know, have a plan in place because the last I checked, Rye, Nobody gets out of this deal alive. <laughs> no, not not as far as we know. We know Walt Disney's in a freezer somewhere, but uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if he's coming back anytime soon. And I think just another thing to add to that, and I find this a lot, if you're managing your own finances, again, I like to be the captain of your own ship a lot of times, and I don't want to hear this, and you probably know it, you're probably taking way too much risk, and you don't even want to know it. Right, and you might know it deep down inside, but you don't want to address it because you love the adrenaline of running that money. You need someone to tell you or be bad cop to let you know, hey, here's those unforeseen risks that you don't really see. You know, Rye, the trend is your friend until it's not. And so many people have put themselves in such a bad position by taking more risk than necessary. Just as we talked about earlier, corrections are inevitable. But when you're taking more risk than necessary, those corrections become overwhelming and it's not worth the stress to you or your family. Yeah, and that's why I think if nothing else, if you are a do-it-yourselfer, get a second opinion just so you know what pitfalls you actually have because I'm pretty sure there's probably some things or blind spots that you have that you're not thinking about when it comes to protecting your portfolio for yourself and your family in retirement. You're all entitled to a second opinion, especially if you're one of our next 10 callers and saved at least 200000 for retirement. Rye and I will create for you not only a second opinion, but a total financial master plan without obligation or cost. If you're one of our next 10 callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to have our CPA partner review your tax situation. Why pay any unnecessary taxes? We're going to look at your legal documents, your wills, your trust. Most of you don't even have a will. Let's get on the path to creating an estate plan that's not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, Let's look at all those investment statements. The second quarter's over. All those envelopes are sitting on your desk. Throw them in a shopping bag. Pick up the phone. Text us for an appointment. We're going to take all those statements and break it down into one simple document, which will analyze your portfolio for the three key elements of a successful strategy. Diversification, cost, and income. We need to be diversified across asset classes and within asset classes to eliminate any unnecessary risk. You don't, I don't know about you, but I don't like being overcharged, and I certainly don't want my portfolio overcharging me on an annual basis. And lastly, let's fill in that income gap that we're all going to have at some point in our lives. Let's be certain we have the cash flow to achieve those financial goals that are so critical to our family's happiness. And lastly, we're gonna tie it all together. To answer that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you 
utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. That's right, folks, for over four decades, paying capital management and helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and with only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you have over $200,000 safe for retirement and you're one of the next 10 callers, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get that second opinion at 844 844- 752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial right here. We told you earlier that Bob Payne is the Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. This means he oversees all of the portfolio designs and financial planning strategies for the firm. For 40 years, he's worked to change the way the financial industry approaches financial planning. He turned away from the traditional Wall Street sales pitch and pioneered a new approach to retirement planning using goal-oriented, customizable plans that better fit your individual needs. Reach out to Bob and the team for a complimentary review by calling or texting 844 Seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments, and I love to mess with your emotions. If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So, Bob, what did you find out there this week in the world of financial propaganda? What I found out, Rye, is that there is an expert who believes the market is forming a top right as we speak. Wow. Well, first off, you said expert, so I'm already a little leery because anyone in the financial world that calls themselves an expert, sometimes you could change that word with charlatan. Well, you know, this is the thing. He told us that he's liquidated all of his holdings in the stock market and is now net short, which means he's betting for the stock market to go down. Now, this is the thing that's most interesting. He used to be called market guru, Doug Cass. Now he's just called financial expert Doug Cass because in the past, he's made some really bad calls, right? (laughs) So you go from (laughs) guru to expert when your calls are wrong? Well, let's take for example. Let's take for example. This time last summer, exactly a year ago today, he came out with an article called Peak Amazon and said he was net short the stock. In other words, at $1,000, he was betting the stock would go down. Now, here we are a year later and the stock's up 80%. He wasn't a little wrong, as you would say. He was dead wrong. Now, here's where you know to not listen to perma bears like this fella, Doug Cass. Oh, he's sometimes called Dougie Cass to make him sound, you know, more more friendly. But he's an expert, but he could also be your neighbor. (laughs) That's right. He's an expert. Exactly. Back in 2013, he actually spoke at the Berkshire Hathaway annual meeting, which is called the Woodstock of Capitalism, to convince all of Warren Buffett and all of his followers that they should get out of Berkshire Hathaway. 
<laughs> well, so why would Warren Buffett have someone like him at an event like that, Bob? I don't get it. Well, I think he likes to get amused. But, uh, you know, he said <laughs> at the end of it, he said, Doug, you haven't convinced me to sell the stock, but, you know, keep on trying. Now, I went back, Ryan. The stock was 173000 a share when he shorted that stock. Traded yesterday at 303000 You know, another yeah. 74% return this guy's missed out on. Yeah, I mean, that's again, we, we talk about this week after week, but it's just these gurus or experts, you know, they're just not helpful when it comes to predicting the future because it's very simple. No one can actually predict the future. So there's no reason you should weigh in on your, your portfolio, its net worth based on someone's really bad intuition about what's going to happen in the future. So it makes wow. no sense. <laughs> The nice thing about Google is you can Google these experts and you can see that they've been saying the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Of course, you know, we do call that insanity here at Payne Capital Management. That's right. That's right. Well, I found a good article this week in the world of financial propaganda. And I think this is just a reminder that you need to diversify your portfolio. And if you look at the last week or so, we've had a tech bloodbath with almost $300 billion worth of valuation disappearing in the tech world after Facebook came out with less than expected revenue numbers. And in fact, we saw one of the biggest drops ever in capitalization of any company when Facebook came out with their earnings about a week ago. And I think that's just you know almost losing over 20% in one day, Bob, which is a tremendous correction. That's a great lesson learned, Rod, because in the market's history, individual companies have gone bankrupt and gone away all the time. But no market has ever gone to zero in anyone's lifetime. Yeah, that's right. And I think this is also a reminder, when you look at your portfolios right now, you have to remember that diversification is key. If your money is concentrated in too few areas, or as we say, you know, you, know, you have your eggs in one basket, that can be very painful, no pun intended, being our last name, on the downside. And this is a perfect example of that. You know, Tech stocks have done so, so well for almost a decade now. And not to say that the tech rally is going to end tomorrow, but at some point, you know, trees don't grow to the sky. And here's a perfect example of your portfolio might be getting too concentrated in one area of the market, and you don't want to be caught, you know, as we say, with your pants down. No, so true. And if you just go through the last 40 or 50 years, you're always going to find in any one period one segment of the economy that's, that's dominant. But there's always what we call reversion to the mean. What goes up goes down so that you have an average rate of return. So anything that's up a lot, you don't want to be buying a lot of in today's market. Yeah, and I think you're hearing that a lot. Your neighbor might be saying, hey, I'm buying Facebook, I'm buying Apple, I'm buying Amazon. That's all you need to own here, and you're set. You don't have to worry about owning everything else. And the truth is, it doesn't matter how good it is today. At some point in the future, it's not going to be pretty. I can't tell you the exact hmm. day where I'd be on my yacht, but I think it's just important to know right now, especially what the markets have done so, so well, your portfolio needs to be readjusted. You need to analyze it to make sure that you have your risk properly allocated. And odds are, based on all the portfolios that you and I review, Bob, on a monthly basis, there's a good chance your money probably is concentrated in one or two areas, and you probably need some diversification. Well, Ry, here's what you say to that neighbor or that person at the cocktail party who's bragging about their big killing in Amazon or Facebook or Google. You say, well, you know, I own that in my portfolio, but um, I'm not sure what's the next big one. You, you know, you made a killing in these. What are the next big three? And guess <laughs> <laughs> You never get that answer. <laughs> you never get right. You never get the prediction for the future. You only get hindsight. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need to get my advice from a professional not from my neighbor at a cocktail party. Here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic financial review where we look at the whole picture. You just simply bring in those statements as they come in this month, put them in a brown paper bag, put them in a folder. We're going to dissect all of it for you here in the office and we're going to build you your own personalized portal so we can view your whole financial picture from a 10,000 view up. And we're going to look at all the critical components. We're going to look at diversification. Diversification is so critical to protect you in retirement. Do you have too much money in too few areas? Bob and I are going to show you where all the pitfalls or where all the risk in your portfolio lies and how to correct it. We're going to look at income. 
Income is so critical in retirement. What is your income gap going to look like? How are you going to replace the income when you're working? Bob and I are going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio to fill in your income gap. And we're going to look at fees. There's a lot of hidden costs in portfolios. A lot of those high cost mutual funds, annuities, brokerage products. Bob and I are going to show you where all the hidden costs are and show you how to reduce costs on your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and determine that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Here's your chance to get your own total financial masterpiece by texting or calling 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is Bob. I'm with Rye. We're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. With a constantly changing financial landscape, having a written, customized plan is more important than ever. Turn to the team at Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692 to schedule a complimentary financial review. That's 844-752-6692. Find out how to better prepare for your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Hi, I'm a soon-to-be-retired mom. I'm also a grandmother, and as much as I enjoy visiting with my grandchildren, I'd like to be able to head home at the end of the weekend. I also want to make sure that they get a top-notch education one day. And of course, I want to look out for myself as well. With the proper financial plan in place, I can accomplish all of those goals. What about you? What are you doing to prepare for retirement? Make sure your family is cared for in retirement. And please, don't turn your weekend family visits into a permanent vacation. Schedule a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Take control of your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. From your first encounter with the Payne Capital Management family, you'll notice a difference. First of all, the team doesn't represent any institutions. They represent their clients. That's the power of being independent. They really separate themselves from the large brokerages and how important their personal relationship is with you, the client. You can expect frequent communication about your plan from the team. You'll have the freedom to select top investment strategies, not just one particular product. And as a fee-based financial advisory group, Payne Capital Management embraces its fiduciary responsibility to help you make decisions that serve your best interest and no one else's. See what the PCM difference is all about. Call or text today for a complimentary review. 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Your personalized path to financial freedom awaits at Payne Capital Management. For more information, go to BeBullish.com. That's BeBullish.com. Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I look to give you common sense, practical advice on your finances week after week. And that's why we put together our latest video series, What You Need to Know, about creating an income you cannot outlive. It's just a great baseline to get you started with the financial planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. You can get access to our newest video series, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive to help you get started with the financial planning process. You can text the word bullish to 555-888. Download it for free. 
Text the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can sign up for our weekly show. Get it right there, right to your inbox. And yes, you can see Bob's hair for real. And yes, it is real. But you got to go to bebullish.com to check that out. Uh, You can check me out most weeks. I'm on CNBC, Fox Business News with the latest market commentary. And if you ever have a question you want to ask myself or Bob, you can always email us directly, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a really good question, Bob and I will answer that question right on the show. And we have our producer, the man in behind the scenes, Mark Haywood to help us with our uh, email questions today. So you survived the honeymoon, Haywood. I have survived <laughs> one successful week of marriage. I'd say that's some sort of record. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> and uh, I will tell you, gentlemen, this. If you ever want to open an office in the Riviera Maya, I would be happy to come down, do some client support. I'm sure we have some <laughs> listeners down there in Mexico who need help with their finances. Well, sign me up. <laughs> Let's go, Bob. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, man. Well, uh, we do have some good questions that have come in a little further north than that this week, and, but that's okay. Good to get back to work. Let's take a question from Kate in Haverford. Kate says, Bob, I have a catch-22. I have some Apple stock that I really want to sell because I've made a lot of money over the years, but I'm worried about the tax bill I might create when I sell. So what's more important, capturing gains or keeping taxes low? Kate, that's a great question, and um, I know the answer, but I'm going to ask Rye uh, to help me out here. Rye, not too far in the past, I had a fool for a client. Do you remember who that was? You had a fool for a client in the past? That never happened, Bob. Never happened. Uh, well, it was me, Rye. Thank goodness you saved my bacon because I had huge position in a company called Merrill Lynch where I had made a lot of money, and the biggest worry and concern I had was the tax bill and didn't want to sell. And, of course, Until you gave me a call and said, hey, how come you believe in diversification for everybody but you? And thank goodness I liquidated that stock because it went from 90 to 2. Yeah, and I think this week, again, is a great example of that when Facebook was down over 20% in one day. And let's face it, that stock has been fantastic for years. And the same thing can be argued about Apple. And I I don't think there's anyone that would argue that Apple isn't a great company. It's not a great stock. But at the end of the day... You just never know with any individual company what could happen. I mean, Merrill Lynch, Bob, for an example, is around for over 90 years. In the mm-hmm. matter of a couple months, the stock basically went bankrupt. You just never know what could happen. No, you really don't. And, and the old adage is if you want to create wealth, concentrate your portfolio. But if you want to maintain your wealth, diversify, diversify, diversify. Mm-hmm. You know, pay the taxes. You don't pay 100% in tax. You get to keep the rest. But boy, if you have a stock that goes from 90 to 2, you're going to wish you'd paid the tax. Yeah, and just to add to that as well, and you said this earlier on the show, and I think this is something important to think about with your own planning and investing, is you probably don't need a lot of risk. Individual stocks entertain a lot of risk in your portfolio that's unnecessary. And it's, you know, why take more risk than you need to retire comfortably? Yeah, you know, and the other thing is, Rye, when you were born, did Apple exist? No. Yeah, so why bet your financial future on a company that didn't even exist when you were born? You know, what makes you think that that company can't have competition, that someone else, as great as a company Apple is, that there's another Steve Jobs that was born out there who's coming up with a better concept, a better idea, and a stock that can dominate somewhere in the future? And better yet, why not own that stock? It's great to own a winner, but why not own the next group of winners by having a diversified portfolio. Diversification, diversification, diversification. Thanks, Kate, for writing in. Let's move over now to Alec on Great Neck, Long Island. Alec actually has a really interesting question. I actually myself had a very similar conversation about this recently. He says, Ryan, our IRAs seem like they haven't made much money for the last two years. Is our broker just not paying attention to our accounts or what? He might be asleep at the wheel. I'm not sure, but uh, it, it could be a couple of different things. You know, first off, you have to understand what is the purpose of that IRA. You know, is that in long-term investments that are more aggressive? Is that in more conservative investments because you need to start drawing on it? So I think the first question you have to ask is, what is the purpose of this money, and is it invested with that purpose in mind? 
Now, that's a great point, Rye, because if you have all of your money in, say, a bond portfolio in the last two years, chances are all you've made is interest. You haven't had any appreciation. So it's not about did you make money or lose money? Is it high risk or low risk? Is it appropriate to what you're trying to accomplish in your financial plan? And I had a, I had a case like this this past week with a woman who essentially she had money in an IRA, just like Alec. And really for her, that IRA was long-term money. When she starts to retire in another year, she's going to draw a lot of money from her regular taxable account. And she doesn't have to start taking distributions or tapping into this money for another 15, 20 years. And we looked at it and the account was invested very conservatively. And she said, I'm not making any money here. And I said, well, you know what? That doesn't make sense because this is longer term money. It's growing tax deferred. It should be invested more aggressively. So you know, a lot of times you, you do want to look to make sure that your advisor or how you're building your portfolio, you have the right assets in the right accounts. You know, right. so many times I see you talk to the person that sold the investment to you. You didn't buy the investment. They were sold to you. So the salesman's always going to tell you, well, it's, it's good. It's going to work out. You know, this is why you need a second opinion. You, know, you may have an investment that isn't acting according to the risk that you're taking. There may be a lot of hidden costs. It just may be thought out inappropriate or it just may be time to make a change. So you don't know that by talking to the person that's going to tell you all the time that you have an investment that's good. How about a little more detail? How about someone who doesn't have an axe to grind, who doesn't have uh, skin in the game? Get a second opinion. Yeah. So I think the, the important point here is you want to make sure all your assets, no matter what account they're held in, are all part of one concerted plan, essentially to get you or keep you retired. Hey, Ryan, I got a question for you. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized do you think Kate and Alec are? I think Kate and Alec need a little bit of work. So Bob, I'm <laughs> going to give them a very low score of three. Now I want to ask you a question. On a scale of one to 10, how financially organized would you like to be? Wouldn't we all like to be a 10? If you'd like to be a 10, all you have to be is one of the next 10 callers who have saved at least 200000 for your retirement. We're going to create for you your own 360 financial portal. This is a holistic view of what you own, which will tell you what you own and why you own it, and it'll display how you're progressing towards your goals on a daily basis in real time. If you're one of the next three callers, here's exactly what we're going to do for you. We're going to have our CPA partner review your taxes. We're going to have your estate plan analyzed to be certain it's not an IOU to the IRS. And lastly, we're going to review all of your investment statements. We're going to break down your portfolio to be certain that you have the three key elements of a successful strategy, diversification, fees, and income. Let's be certain that you're diversified across asset classes within asset classes to minimize the downside of the next downturn. I don't know about you, but I don't like to be overcharged, and I certainly don't want to be overcharged by my portfolio. Let's look for those hidden costs that are buried deep in the prospectus of that mutual fund or in that contract of that thick insurance policy. And lastly, let's look at your income. Can we increase the amount of cash flow your portfolio generates on an annual basis? And we want to answer that age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money, or is your money going to outlive you? utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over four decades. That's right. For 40 years, we've been helping families like yours get from your financial point A to your point B goals, your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk, and with only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. 6692. We have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, call or text us at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get that second opinion to make sure you're on track. Call or text us at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844- 752-6692. This is No Pain, No Gain, Financial Radio. Hi, it's Ryan and Bob here, and we want to talk to you about your cash. Bob, many of us are sitting on a lot of cash right now in our businesses and personal savings accounts, and rest assured the banks 
are taking full advantage of our dormant cash. That's right, Rye. Not only do you have to worry about FDIC insurance limits, but most savings accounts pay close to 0%. Exactly right. And that's why we're putting together short-term CD ladders so you can have increased FDIC coverage, and not to mention rates that are in many cases double what your local savings and local checking accounts are paying. If you want to learn more about how to manage your cash better, simply text the word CASH, that's C-A-S-H, CASH, to 844-752-6692. That's text the word CASH, C-A-S-H, to 844-752-6692. We told you earlier that Bob Payne is the Managing Director of Payne Capital Management. This means he oversees all of the portfolio designs and financial planning strategies for the firm. For 40 years, he's worked to change the way the financial industry approaches financial planning. He turned away from the traditional Wall Street sales pitch and pioneered a new approach to retirement planning using goal-oriented, customizable plans that better fit your individual needs. Reach out to Bob and the team for a complimentary review by calling or texting 844 Seven five two six six nine two. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. With a constantly changing financial landscape, having a written, customized plan is more important than ever. Turn to the team at Payne Capital Management. Call or text eight four four seven five two six six nine two to schedule a complimentary financial review. That's eight four four seven five two six six nine two. Find out how to better prepare for your financial future. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I like to keep it simple, give you common sense advice, because again, we're simple men. And that's why I put together our latest video series, what you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. It's just a nice baseline to get you started with the retirement planning process. And you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B U L L I S H, to 555 888. That's the word bullish, to 555 888. What you need to know about creating an income you cannot outlive. Help you get started with that financial planning process. Again, just text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, 555-888. And we have a very, very special guest on the show this morning, Bob and I's colleague, Jen, financial angel, as she's known in uh, circles around New York and and the world. (laughs) And Jen, thanks for being on the show this morning. This is our spotlight segment where we take a real retirement plan, we dissect it, And we break down what we call the flaws or pain points, no pun intended, so our listeners can avoid the same mistakes with their own retirement planning and investing. So why don't you give us a rundown on the case that you worked on and some of the things you did to help this couple get retirement ready, per se. Sure. Happy to. Thanks for having me, guys. So, Ryan, you and I met with them, actually, and um, he is about, he's 59, so he's getting very close to retirement. Yes. He's actually worried that he might get pushed out of his company, which we've actually seen a few times with clients of mine that slowly say, you know, hey, it's kind of time for you just working a little bit less, and slowly but surely, all of a sudden, they're retired. So that's one of the reasons he called us, and because he, you know, kind of realized that they never put a plan together. And right now, he they basically have different accounts in all these different places. So they have different advisors, and then he has a current 401k. And that's really one of the huge things that we saw was that they're all, not to you know dispute in the competition, but they're all looking at their accounts in a vacuum. Yes. So you have one yeah, advisor So instead saying, of diversifying his portfolio, he's diversifying by custodian. Exactly. Exactly. It turns out... Each advisor or each account is basically looked at as, okay, a single entity versus it's, you know, a whole portfolio where it's all these different accounts, all these different IRAs and 401ks, and no one actually looked at the whole picture. That's a really good point. We talked about that earlier on the show today, how important it is that you have a concerted effort with all of your assets. Because, you know, a good example would be you may want to invest your retirement plans more aggressively because you may touch that money later than money that's in your regular savings account, which you might be drawing on sooner. So it's like all these things need to be factored as one holistic approach. 
Yeah. And even, you know, you look at one IRA, it looks like, you know, he has all these mutual funds and one, he has all these individual stocks and it looks on the surface like it might be diversified, right? You have these like hundreds of stocks, all these different mutual funds. So on the surface, it looks like, you know, I I look diversified, but when you look at everything together, it's not the case at all. What happens usually when you have a situation like this is the overall portfolio tends to carry way more risk and puts you in a very bad position for the next downturn. Exactly. And, you know, shocker, he's in mostly large cap stocks. And that's in the mutual funds as well as all these individual stocks. So it's, you know, half the portfolio almost is in the S&P, which when you back test it for 2008, you're down 45%. We talked about crashes earlier today, Jen. So if we have a market crash or a correction like we did in 2007 and 2000, at the worst point in their lives, when they're ready to retire, when they're in retirement red zone, they would lose 40% of the value of their portfolio. It's really hard, you know, to be calm and collected when you lose 40% when you're in retirement. Yeah. If you have a million dollars and you see it go down by 400,000, you think you're going to keep your cool? <laughs> <laughs> And I have to say, this is the hard part about this is a lot of the stuff that they own in their portfolio has done really, really well the last couple of years. So it's kind of hard to be like, well, then, you know, the old saying is, if it's not broke, why fix it? But the reality of it is, this is the time you really need to make a change when the wind's at your back. You know, along with the, the planning aspect to it, because, you know, he has all these different advisors. He has the current 401k that no one's, you know, actively managing for him. One of the things we asked him, you know, in part of our process is, okay, what are you spending? You know, what does your monthly budget look like? Is that going to decrease or increase in retirement? And we find more often than not, it either stays the same or actually increases in retirement. Goes up. Because they're, you know, they have more free time. You're spending more money with the grandkids, your, your kids, you know, everything. So he actually said to us, you know, he's only spending a couple thousand a month. And when he actually came back and did the budget, using our, our budgeting tool is actually double that. So yeah, that's surprise. huge. <laughs> mm. Big surprise, you're spending more than you think you are, right? So that's a big thing as well, where we can just generate 36000 in income, you know, without even touching your principal at that point. You know, we can have additional income coming in for him that he can supplement his additional expenses he didn't even know we had. Yeah, you would think when you're working with various custodians, you would negotiate a lower cost, but it turned out they had a higher cost portfolio, lower yield portfolio, higher risk portfolio, and by consolidating it all with you, not only able to identify their goals in more detail, but be more prepared for whatever the markets throw at us going forward. Yeah, well, as Bob would say, another financial masterpiece, Jen. Oh, thank you. Well done, well done. (laughs) And that's it, right? It, by consolidating, contrary to popular belief, that's where you can have some tremendous advantages with making sure that you're retirement ready and if you're in retirement now. So if you're one of the, we have still have a couple slots left. If you're one of the next few callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Jen, Financial Angel, will put together the same type of review, our holistic, famous total financial master plan. And we'll do that with no obligation or cost. That's a review where you look at everything. It's a very simple process. Just bring in those statements, stick them in a folder, bring them in the office. We're going to dissect it all for you. And we're going to look at everything from a bird's eye view. We'll build your own personalized financial portal so you can work on your budgeting. We're going to look at every critical component to your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. Do you have a lot of different investments at a lot of different places, but they're all doing the same thing? Are you being overcharged on your investments? Are you overcharging yourself on your investments because you're not consolidating? We're going to show you how you can reduce cost on your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. We're able to increase the cash flow in this portfolio to $36,000 a year, filling in that income gap. How can we help you optimize or increase the income on your portfolio to make sure you're retirement ready? And then finally, what we're going to do, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. And we're going to determine the very, very critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success? All you need to do is call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers and you saved over $200,000 for retirement, we have a few slots left and we'll run for you your total 
financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. No strings attached. But there's no plan unless you call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Well, another fantastic show. It's great to have you on the show, Jen. Thanks for having me. Real honor and a pleasure. We haven't had you on in a couple of weeks. It's I like know. you've been avoiding us. Sorry, guys. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Playing hard to get. <laughs> As always. Big Bob, what's on tap for the rest of this uh, glorious August weekend? I'm on the hunt for the sun, Rye. we got to get rid of these clouds and this rain and get the sun shining here the dog days of August. I feel you, brother. I feel you. We'll have a great weekend. And as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.